Hey, what's up, guys? Foxy Dubs coming to you guys today with a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're going to be using pl plutonium, plutonium diamond, plague diamond. We're going to be using plague diamond in, uh, in Black Ops 2. It's just something that you can download. There's a bunch of different kinds of camos. I'm thinking about doing like a little series where we go back to like Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, or like IW4X and like the other plutoniums. And we go and use camos from, I guess, the new gen COD, like Dark Matter and Plague Diamond and all that other stuff, Damascus and all that good jazz. And, and we use those on the older games because I, I, I don't know what to make content on. Go subscribe to the Halo channel because if you don't, there's also a World at War plutonium and there's a ghost plutonium. I'm pretty sure. I don't really know if ghost is populated. I had this dream last night. It might be time to go play some plutonium on ghost because I had this dream and I played ghosts on PC for whatever reason. I don't know why, but I just, I, I just, it was weird that I had that dream. So we might have to make that happen. So if you guys want to leave a like down below. Yeah. Without further ado, let's go bros. Yeah. All right. So as you can see here, we have the scar with plague diamond it's pretty beautiful it's kind of so freaking sick so this past weekend we just spent some time with some friends hung out with some people had some good vibes hope you guys had an awesome fourth of july i meant to upload on saturday and completely forgot because i was out all day and it just slipped my mind i thought i scheduled my last video for three o'clock on saturday and i just didn't schedule it so that's my bed i know i haven't uploaded since sunday i was working on this project for uh, gfnf if you guys don't know what that is they do stuff in hobby shoes trading cards things like that and uh, i was making a really cool video which you guys can see right now on the screen check it out So yeah, I made that in about like two and a half days. I'd probably say I worked like a total of like 18 to 20 hours on it. And th that's the only reason why I didn't upload. I really wanted to upload yesterday, but I just didn't get the chance to because I didn't get to sit down and actually record a commentary and play. The announcement for GFNF cards was yesterday. So I wanted to make sure that I got that out and then all the finishing touches were on it and all that good stuff. But we're going to get back on schedule and all that stuff and start uploading every other day like I was doing last week or almost every day. Whenever new content comes out, you guys know. You guys know the deal over here. I saw this on Twitter yesterday, but apparently there's a new cheat that's coming out or that is out for console as far as like Cold War and Warzone and Modern Warfare goes. And apparently you need a PC for the cheat. But still, bro, like this is going far enough. And to be honest, even on Twitter yesterday, I was just kind of like, I will gladly go play Halo because I do not want to deal with cheaters and things like that. Even though I play on PC and I do have crossplay enabled, there should be no reason why the player base has to worry about hackers and modders and things like that. Really lame, bro. I mean, like I'm still going to play COD. We're obviously still going to upload to this channel. But it's just one of those things where I hope that Activision has a plan for when Battlefield and Halo come out. Because if those two games have a really good anti-cheat, like I said a couple weeks ago in a video, you're going to see a shift in the player base for COD. There will still be players playing COD. There always will be. Call of Duty is just a juggernaut like that. But at the same time, I feel like Halo and Battlefield are going to give Call of Duty some competition that it hasn't had in pretty much five years. You know, especially with all three games coming out. And like I said before, the last time Battlefield, Halo, and Call of Duty all came out in the same year was like 2010 when Halo Reach came out, and I believe it was Battlefield 4. Yeah, I know Battlefield games have come out in the past same years as COD because like COD comes out every year. But with all three coming out, I think there will be a lot more diversity within the FPS genre. Yeah, uh, so today's Wednesday. It's weird that today's Wednesday. You, you know, Monday felt like a Sunday because everybody was off or at least I would say a majority of businesses not like corporations or anything like that like not like fast food or whatever but a lot of like independent businesses and government employees had off on Monday because it was the day after the fourth so Monday to me felt like a Sunday for some reason uh, my dad got some poison on him or like uh, not sumac it's uh poison oak or something like that I don't know I, I don't think it's poison ivy but it's poison oak because he was working out in the yard or whatever so I'm trying to stay the hell away from that because when I get poison ivy it's really really bad whenever I get like poison oak or poison sumac it's really really bad poison oak not poison sumac I'm sorry if you guys have ever seen poison sumac I had poison sumac when I was like eight years old and I was uh dude it was so bad like I had these bubbles all over me it was fucking gross 
It's nasty. It's the worst feeling. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever gotten poison ivy or poison sumac or whatever, or poison oak. The poison sumac is like the most disgusting one of the. Oh my god, it's so gross. It, like it leaks. I'll never forget the day or the night that I woke up and I had it because like I felt something leaking on my leg. Oh, bleh. oh, gross. But yeah. So I'm trying to stay like not nothing against him, but I'm trying to stay away from him because I'm not trying to catch that shit. Like I said before, the last time I poisoned ivy, it was so bad that I literally had to go to the doctor's get a steroid shot and they gave me antibiotics and it was gone within a week it was just so bad I, I i couldn't stand it i literally could not stand it and then last night we watched botched again uh there weren't any like crazy stories that i can really remember oh, okay so this one guy he had like what looked like a football on his side and it looked like inside of him obviously he didn't have a football inside of his body there weren't any like crazy things i mean like there was this one girl who said that she wanted so much plastic surgery that she wanted to look like barbie and stuff like that you know people want to do what they want to do you know i'm not gonna sit here and judge anybody off of that but you know it's i mean it's not for me <laughs> but I don't really have a problem with people who do that. It's just, it, it, it ain't for me, bro. And we were flipping back and forth between Botch and the NBA Finals last night. And obviously the Suns just killed the Bucks. I'm not going to say I didn't expect that because I definitely expected the Suns to come out swinging. I don't really see the Suns losing the series. I think it's a big moment for Chris Paul. And the Suns in general are white hot. It would definitely make sense for the Suns to win the series and win the NBA Finals and for Chris Paul to get his first ring. And, and to be honest, I'm gonna be real with you, uh, it will probably be his only ring, but the fact that he got a ring is really nice too. Uh, he played lights out. There was, I think in the third quarter, he just went completely off, just like he did against the Clippers in I think game six. Did they go to seven game series? I can't remember. I think it was game six where Chris Paul just completely took over in the third or fourth quarter. You know what? No, I think it was, I think it was like the last game of the series when they eliminated the Clippers. He did that same thing in this first game and it was just, he was just lights out. It was crazy. I, I do think that the Suns are gonna win it all they're super hot the canadians also won the other night which is really nice to see not that i really care about either of the teams that are in the stanley cup finals but it was kind of nice to see the canadians have some type of um some type of fight in them because i didn't want to see them get 4 0'd and completely swept so that's nice to see i finished season three of my hero academia yeah so that's where i'm at for that and i kind of started the first like four or five episodes of full metal alchemist brotherhood so that's super cool i was watching dub the dub is kind of map but i'm gonna go ahead and watch the sub probably and re restart it super cool show really dig it that's pretty much it for my life that's all i've done really we yeah i don't, I don't really know if you guys did enjoy this video and you guys want to see more i don't know more camos and things like that from other cods and older cods i don't know i let, let me let me know down in the comments leave a like subscribe Turn on notifications, all the good stuff. We hit 125,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that. Really, really appreciate y'all. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. See you guys later. Come on.